and Mayute, 17 countries put together equals Ghana. I'm talking about my Ghanaian audience. I want to believe that you have always stated it and you have always made it clear you don't want to be like any other person you are not in competition with anybody you don't care about how other people are doing if they are doing better than you or not all you want is your peace of mind and your own life to live no the only solution she intends to bring to you is to tell you guys not to be offended whenever Nigerians refer to you as ordinary Ghana. Minutes according to the meaning, the minutes another way. Now opportunity have come for you to put that into practice by facing your government and demanding your rights. You are not going home, but you are on social media explaining it. Let's go but they must always use a small and ordinary and what she's telling you is that you should accept it it doesn't mean anything but i cannot refer to any state in nigeria as ordinary because the indigenous of that state will remove my teeth the only state that i can refer to in nigeria as if i want to use that is my state and they will let me be why because i am from there all right guys so welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking for everyone who have been following this journey i want to appreciate you for those of you that have been supporting me regardless because when you do videos of this nature you do not grow that is the truth on youtube there is no growth for you when i was going out around ghana filming incredible places and posting them out here for the world to see my channel was doing amazing but but I have taken a break for some time and that is because we have some issues to sort out and once that is sorted we are going to go back to so many places in Ghana to show it off to the world but for now we are keeping all that aside and to all of you that have been supporting me on this journey I appreciate you for those that are concerned about my safety do not worry I am fine the Lord is my shepherd and I will lack nothing he is my rock and he is my protector because of course nothing but the truth i will not sit down and make up stories about anyone except i'm joking about it and today i want to react to this video i mean i want to say thank you so much to all of you that have joined me on this journey since i decided to do this style of videos because see if you love your country is beyond you setting a ring light to come out insult people using the name of your country dragging people that have done you absolutely nothing all you say about these people is either you say they are small in size or they have they have treated you badly in their country or you complain that they have they are speaking their language in their country or you complain about so many things about other people when we have our own problems to deal with i strongly believe that you have a choice to either be here i'm not complaining in ghana does not mean that everything in ghana is perfect it is because when it gets to that point where i feel like my country is better than ghana for me to live in all i have to do is to move my bags and go straight to my country and live there in peace i do not at any point have to drag people have to insult them have to insult them for their choices do you understand for the things i think i have more than them or the things they do not have at all it is not in my nature and i hate it when it is done in my name as a nigerian first honestly speaking i couldn't have been on this journey without the support of my amazing subscribers who believes in me because see their mission is first to frame you make you look like you hate your country they make it like um, you dislike your country so much and you are downgrading your country but thank you Ghana for giving me a voice and I shall use it with all diligence now today I have successfully changed so many souls I mean I have converted people who used to do this style of video. I mean, videos like this. A lot of Ghana's media, um, Ghanaian YouTubers, both big and small, they were all talking about the agenda of play only Ghana. 
and um, a lot of them started advising their people to play only Ghana their media play only Ghana however can someone help me ask Nigerian media why are they showing us Ghanaian faces when these same people said that their people should play only Ghana music you can't be pushing their faces on us if they wanted their people to play only Ghana good and fine let them go ahead however can you please replace their faces with other faces well, those are some of the achievements we have achieved here on YouTube making people who do this type of divisional videos you know who always come to preach you know people who instigate hate between a country that is not theirs with another country i mean like make it make sense when you have your government to tackle you have the insecurity in your country to speak about you have the word to call on to draw the attention of the world to your country all the things you complain you do not have in your country so why abandon all of that to talk about other people anyways this woman is back again with another video and of course according to her she's bragging at her community tab that the algorithm need to be seen like they need to see how the algorithm is favoring her for me lillian because i am not a stingy person i like to share so if the algorithm is favoring you while Ghanaians and nigerians are at each other's neck i a nigerian living in ghana is saying no she have a video and i'm surprised she's sounding like this <laughs> now let's listen to her then you will know that we have been on this journey and we have been doing amazing is djibouti reunion and swatini Kutera, Guinea, Mauritius, Lesotho, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde, Namibia, Gambia, Eritrea, and Mayotte. 17 countries put together equals Ghana. I'm talking about population. Let's well, uh, madam, before we go further into this video, I want to believe that to you, Ghanaian audience, I want to believe that you have always stated it and you have always made it clear. You don't want to be like any other person. You are not in competition with anybody. You don't care about how other people are doing, if they are doing better than you or not. All you want is your peace of mind and your own life to live. So, but all this thing that this woman is walking at let's see where she's going because she said she's a channel of truth truth indeed <laughs> currently ghana has the landmass of 200,000 through 239,000 square kilometers wait i don't even want to waste your time and you know what this person is talking about this you know all that this person is talking about in this video is her campaigning to tell you that you should allow people refer to you as ordinary Ghana all this energy that this woman is putting in into this video and you may want to know is targeting at she giving excuses why her people are calling you are referring to a country that is older than theirs as ordinary she just want to you know so that when next all these things you would think oh where is this woman going she sounds so like she want to give us some accurate information and she wants to save the world does she have solution for climate change does she has solution to save the world no the only solution she intend to bring to you is to tell you guys not to be offended whenever nigerians refers to you as ordinary ghana whenever her people when whenever some nigerians come up with this phrase come on ghana ordinary ghana it shouldn't be taken seriously because she's giving a reason why they are saying that a lot of things in ghana became stable and so nigerians started agitating and protesting telling their government that Ooh, okay hold on damn 
the truth is i was not expecting this part to pop up because i mean that part if i were her i would pause and analyze it and look at it and not post the video cut it off before i post the video you know to tell their government like right now there is a protest on the streets of Nigeria. people are calling out for nigerians to come out let us go and face the president and agitate for good things to happen in our land but they are not going some nigerians will not go but they are on the internet giving you excuses why their people refers to you as ordinary if i were her i wouldn't post this part this is a woman who is very sneaky and very careful so that you don't get to see her true color because she wants to come to you as a savior whereas she is the re-instigator she is the originator the main author of social media hate between Ghanaians and nigerians this is the same woman that is coming to tell you that uh -huh. she's telling you so when gen z's from nigeria call you honorary and common Ghana, take it because it is because it's a good word used for you they don't mean it that way they don't mean it according to the meaning they mean it another way now opportunity have come for you to put that into practice by facing your government and demanding your rights you are not going home but you are on social media explaining it let's go Small Ghana. Now, small Ghana does not mean that Ghana is small. They are just talking about in terms of the size and the population. It is not acceptable. A country that is older than you with three good years shouldn't be shouldn't be a country you want to use to hold your government accountable. If you don't know how to use tell the president that Mr. President, you see Ghana that is our neighbor, Ghana that is in in, in West Africa, Ghana that we share common culture with Canada I mean similar culture with Canada is also English speaking country in West Africa they are doing well why don't you do well for us no but they must always use a small and ordinary and what she's telling you is that you should accept it it doesn't mean anything but I cannot refer to any state in Nigeria as ordinary because the indigenous of that state will remove my teeth. The only state that I can refer to in Nigeria as if I want to use that is my state and they will let me be. Why? Because I am from there. If I say my own honorary, no wahala na honorary go be a be. But wait, oh, do Nigerians have their own dictionary or is it the same one? I mean, is it the same one or the same, I mean, is it the same dictionary or another one? Because this same person opened her mouth to speak. Wow. Educated people. What is education when you are not applying all that you learned? I mean, when you are not living up to it. But maybe I'm, I'm wrong. She wants you to believe that when next a Nigerian refers to you as common and ordinary, you shouldn't be angry. Just take it. They are speaking that is good for you. Listen to her. Believing that they are trying to tell Nigerian government that a country smaller than you, a country smaller than Nigeria, a country smaller than you that is older than you shouldn't be the country you are going to use to, you know, to compare yourself. I think if I, seriously, if I'm this woman, they all this thing, your people, you see my people, Nigeria, Nigerians want to do that next time. They should say ordinary, another country, a country younger than them, not a country older than you. I mean, what she's talking about now is like me now going to meet Oprah Winfrey and then saying ordinary Oprah. Oh, uh, faith. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is like me telling my mother, Mommy, see now, see honorary Oprah Winfrey. Honorary Oprah that used to be poor. Ordinary Oprah that don't used to be regarded as anything. Ordinary this. Now look at Oprah Winfrey. She's now the, now the richest black woman in the world. Is Oprah going to be happy with me? she knows dictionary she knows english i mean make it make sense was in the same shoe as nigeria had done this and that ghana and ghana and nigeria have never been ghana and nigeria have never been in the same shoes madam stop lying 
actually uplifting Ghana and pushing the success of Ghana to the face See. of the Nigerian politician. Makachuku, no day in anybody's life if you are seeing this video, don't come and say Honorary Lillian. Now, Honorary Lillian is smiling. Honorary Lillian that don't used to smile. She's now smiling. Honorary Lillian that used to be used to be what looked down upon ordinary lillian is now a lillian or you coming to say lillian of yesterday my dear no matter what you want to tell me it's a no it's not acceptable i don't want it it was not actually a derogatory term until our gen z's started making use of it mm. but please Ghana is not a small country. That is Ghana a gospel, is madam. Gospel. That is a gospel small and there is no Ghana excuse to it. actually derogatory in this present modern... And it has world. always been, even in the dictionary, madam, it has always been. No, they twist anything. No, they twist anything. I don't understand why you cannot go to the street to protest, but you are here with ring lights explaining people's country to people. I mean, who sent you? Don't use honorary to refer to any, anybody. Don't refer. But anyways, this person said she's the savior of the social media uh, on, on YouTube. She's the savior. She's here to speak the truth in favor of this and that. But one day she will go up there. The second day she will come up, come out here. And this is because she does not want her true color reveal. And this one is the one we need to be careful of because this is the one that is the main the main instigator on social media i don't even want to talk about ajim maxi because ajim is not a nigerian no matter how many times ajim would use nigerian name to cloud chase he is not a nigerian and nigerians cannot be held accountable for the sins of ajim but some nigerians that are honest will find ajim's channel to be condemnable seriously if you are my fellow nigerian and you put nigeria down i will not even bother you within consign me not be your country but you sit down you carry person country like man it doesn't make it make sense so she's telling you that when next next gen z's of our country calls you ordinary you should take it but wait though, there's a part in this video i don't want to play it again i'm done with this video she said that um there are so many tourist sites in nigeria that to visit yeah, this is someone that have not been to any of the story sites in Nigeria. And here I am asking myself, but wait, though, why? She talked about how safe these places are, how beautiful they are, all this research done right in our room. Why don't you pick up your camera and go to these places and film it? Wait, though, how do you love your country? You know, they show her off. You know, they lift a finger for her. You know, they we no one go protest, make things good. But you they sit down, they use her, they compare with other countries. Does it make, make it make sense? All these people doing this type of videos has nothing to do with my country, Nigeria. They are on their own. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.